Ever since the new DuckTales series started, there's been one big mystery hanging over the first season. Who is the mother of Huey, Dewey, and Louie Duck? And what happened to her? The latest episode of the show brought us one step closer to an answer. Let's talk about the mystery of Della Duck and the secret of the Spear of Selene. If you're not caught up with the latest episode of DuckTales, you might want to stop here. This video contains spoilers for the series on a whole, as well as specific spoilers for the first season episode, The Spear of Selene, as well as some odds and ends from various Duck comics. If you haven't already, go back and watch my spoiler-free review of that episode, and then come back here for my analysis and theory. If you've already done that, or you're willing to risk it, good. Let's go. In the latest episode of DuckTales, Webby and Dewey find themselves on the Greek island of Ithaquac, where they venture into a temple to try and uncover the facts behind the disappearance of Dewey's mother, Della Duck. Really, they're searching for something called the Spear of Selene, an artifact Della seemingly stole from Uncle Scrooge. We first learned about that in The Great Dime Chase, and there's been a lot of speculation about what that spear actually is. One thing, however, has been clear from the beginning. The mythological figure the spear is named after is the Greek goddess of the moon. So far, that's been a really good starting point for fan theories, but the latest episode of DuckTales created one major problem with all of them. Selene never had a spear. You mean the sphere of Selene? Why does no one get what I'm saying? The spear of a Selene. I've never had a spear. That's right, Dewey and Webby actually meet the Greek goddess, and she has no idea what they're talking about. But despite this, Selene does know Dewey's mother and considers her a close friend. And that's kind of weird. If Selene and Della are friends, how does Selene not know about a spear named after her? And why does Della take it from Scrooge? To that, there's only one answer, and Webby has it. Maybe the spear isn't an artifact. Maybe it's something else. Your mom did love a good mystery. Here, it's not a spear, but it is a treasure even Della never found. This is basically why I love the new DuckTales. After months of wondering, this episode leads us on with the idea that they're going to reveal the mystery of the Spear of Selene, only to change everything in the last second. Instead of telling us what the spear is, the show tells us what it isn't. And that's a spear. That changes the nature of this entire mystery. It also puts me in a rough position. Remember the last time I made a prediction on this channel? Before the show started, I guessed that this dude, sitting in Glumgold's office, was secretly Scrooge's missing butler. Duckworth. I was very, very wrong. And I'm not going to get into that, but despite that failure, I'm going to drop one more quick theory here today. The Spear of Selene is real, but it's not a weapon. And like Webby says, it's not an artifact. In fact, it's not anything historical, mystical, or magical at all. I think the Spear of Selene is a vehicle. If you look at Adela Duck's history, this possibility adds up pretty nicely. For most of the history of Disney ducks and the comics, Della is relatively unknown, but her persona in DuckTales is based on a specific, rare comic that never made it to the United States. A Dutch story that's the 80th anniversary celebration of Donald Duck. And part of its plot reveals that Donald's sister, Della, was one of the world's first female pilots, and one of the world's first female astronauts. In the course of that comic, we see her leave Huey, Dewey, and Louie with Donald for the weekend so she can go test a rocket but she never returns from the rocket test. And I'm not the first person to float this theory out there, but if Selene is the goddess of the moon, and Della of the new DuckTales has the same aspirations for space travel as her comic book counterpart, then it's a very real possibility that the Spear of Selene isn't a magical artifact or a weapon, but the name of a rocket ship. And if this is true, it means there might be another way to read that note that Dewey found about the Spear of Selene. When we first read it in The Great Dime Chase, it sounds like she took the Spear of Selene, an object, from Scrooge's vault and ran off with it. But if the Spear of Selene is an airplane or a rocket, it could mean she left the note to tell Scrooge what vehicle she took to go somewhere else. And that changes the mystery entirely. We're no longer wondering why she took the Spear of Selene. That's just a vehicle. We're now wondering where she took the Spear of Selene to. Where did she go, and why did she need this specific vehicle to get there? Thematically, that hits a lot of the right notes, and I like this theory a lot, but there's also a very good chance that it's wrong. Sure, we know Della is an adventurous pilot, and there's every chance she'd jump at the chance to explore space. 
given the opportunity, but nothing about the Della Duck room we see in the McDuck archives, you know, back in the Great Dime Chase, suggests anything about space whatsoever. We see a horse riding saddle, some artifacts, some ancient weapons, a shield and a statue, as well as Della herself perched on the wing of an airplane, but we don't see anything about space. At best, we see the starry view of the room ceiling, where a Greek clothed figure, looking not unlike the goddess Selene herself, points to a crescent moon, holding, of all things, a spear. Which kind of contradicts what the show itself just told us. So, is the spear of Selene a spear? Or a rocket ship? Or did Della just badly misspell the sphere of Selene? At this point, I'm really too hesitant to say for sure, but having just watched the new episode, I can't help but want to share my first thought. And until we see more evidence, I'm banking on the idea that the Spear of Selene is some kind of vehicle. But like I've said, I've been wrong about fan theories before. But what do you think? Is the Spear of Selene a magical object, an airplane, or something else I just haven't thought of yet? Let me know in the comments or join the discussion with me on Twitter. Either way, we're all probably wrong, and I can't wait to find out what it really is. Thanks for watching all the same. If you enjoy these videos, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and tell me what you think. There's also a ton of old videos in the archive you can check out if you want. Either way, thanks for watching as always, be nice to each other out there, and take it easy, internet.